Hello guys, another video from my car as every Saturday and topic of today is one thing that I think most junior developers and not only juniors actually do wrong. So my idea is and my thought is that juniors and not only juniors don't pay enough attention and don't test bad scenarios. So they are working on so-called happy path mostly. So if the feature says like the feature of the task is you need to fill in the form and then for example send an email like a contact form. So they create the route, the controller, maybe some validation for the fields and they test that the email is sending. But what if some input fields are invalid? Some of them are covered with easy Laravel validation, but what exactly happens if the validation proves to be incorrect? So if something goes wrong, are error messages actually clear to the end user? Have you actually seen those error messages with your eyes? Are they clear enough? Imagine yourself in the shoes of a person first time using that form. Also, what if the mail service is down? So what if the emails aren't actually sent? What if email goes to spam for some reason? Is there an easy way to resend email if needed? And this is just one small example of contact form. In reality, there are much more complicated examples, but my theory is that juniors don't spend enough time on bad scenarios, and partly it is related to automated testing. Even when writing the tests, first thing they test is if everything goes well. So for example, if the home page loads well, if the form submitted returns the correct result. And that is better than nothing. Those tests are also valuable, but we also should test so-called bad paths. So what if the validation is fired and there are some errors? What if user is supposed to be logged in and they load the form while not logged in and stuff like that. So various cases, there should be probably different test methods for those cases in PHP unit tests or past tests, for example. But I'm not talking specifically about automated tests. I'm talking about thinking. So developers often are in a hurry to deliver the feature, the next feature. Of course, they have 10 features in their task list for today or tomorrow. So they are in a hurry and often things are forgotten, exactly the error handling. And it's not only about error appearing, it's about how users are informed about those errors visually or in some other way like API response, for example. If there's some bug, is it registered where it's needed to be registered? For example, Bugsnag or Sentry or whatever software you use, if any. Are everyone informed who needs to be informed like developers or admin or something? So do you have configured like Slack messages or email or whatever? But just in general, spend extra time. It's usually extra like 10% of time on feature or 10 or 20 to gracefully catch errors, gracefully show error messages and inform everyone who needs to take action about that. So this is what I think junior developers often miss in the beginning of their career. And I hope that message would be a reminder to them to improve on that. What do you think? Is my assumption correct? Let's discuss in the comments. And see you guys in other videos.